Oh, here we go again. Meta just dropped another pair of high-tech glasses, but don't get too excited. These aren't the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 3 glasses everyone's waiting for. Nope. The ones we're talking about today are the Aria Gen 2 research-focused smart glasses packed with sensors. This could be one of the biggest steps toward real everyday AR glasses that do way more than what current Meta glasses offer. Alright, quick history lesson. Back in 2020, Meta introduced Project Aria, a research-focused pair of smart glasses designed to train AI systems. These weren't meant for consumers, just for Meta's internal research and select partners. Since then, they've been used outside Meta's offices with companies like BMW and universities like Carnegie Mellon and the University of Bristol testing them for AI and robotics projects. Now, we've got Aria Gen 2, and while it still doesn't have a display, it's packing some serious upgrades. It's got an RGB camera multiple tracking cameras, eye tracking, spatial microphones, IMUs, those little motion sensors, a barometer, a magnetometer, and even built-in GPS. Basically, it's loaded with everything you'd need to understand the world around you, without actually projecting anything in front of your eyes. But here's where it gets interesting. Meta added two new sensors right in the nose pad. One is a PPG sensor for tracking your heart rate, bringing health tracking into the mix. And the other is a contact microphone that isolates your voice from background noise. That means even in a noisy environment, the glasses can pick up your voice clearly, which is huge for AI voice assistance and speech recognition. And let's talk usability. Meta says Aria Gen 2 can last six to eight hours on a charge, and now it actually folds like a normal pair of glasses. It's a small but important upgrade because no one wants to carry around a rigid, chunky pair of smart glasses all day. Now, the biggest AI trick up its sleeve, slam tracking, short for simultaneous localization and mapping. Sounds fancy, but the idea is simple. It helps the glasses map out the world around you in real time. This is what could make future AR glasses work indoors, where GPS just isn't reliable. Imagine walking through a shopping mall, and instead of pulling out your phone, your glasses just know where the Apple Store is and guide you straight there. And this isn't just some cool tech demo, Meta is already working with Envision to use Aria Gen 2 for accessibility. They've been testing a personal accessibility assistant that helps visually impaired users navigate indoor spaces. A recent demo even showed how the glasses can guide someone to a specific item in a store using spatial audio, so if you need a Granny Smith Apple, the glasses will literally lead you to the right shelf with a directional audio cue. That's next level stuff. So where is all this heading? Well, Meta is still playing the long game with AR. The real goal isn't just making fancy research glasses, it's building a full-blown consumer AR headset that could one day replace your smartphone. We got a sneak peek at this future with Meta's Orion prototype, which does have a display, but there's one big problem. It costs nearly $10,000 to make per unit. Yeah, not exactly something you'll see in stores anytime soon. Still, Meta, and every other tech giant, including Apple, Samsung, and Google, knows AR glasses are the future. The challenge is making them small, powerful, and affordable enough to wear all day, just like regular glasses. And while Aria Gen 2 isn't something you can buy, it's another step toward making that vision a reality. So, what do you think? Skip the design, just tell me how impressed you are with those features in the comments. And with that, we're wrapping up this video. Catch you in the next one!